Lane United Fan TV, 4-1 on aggregate, 3-0 on the Knights. Pretty good at night by PT Martinez as well. What did you think of the match, man? I mean, I was a bit skeptical when I saw the lineup, 3-4-3 three, three again, but the performance was there. I mean, 3-0 at home, at home in air quotes, but still, PT Martinez had another just fantastic game. That's two in a row for him. And Atlanta gets the result. And in Champions League, you know, I said it last week, you don't have to paint a pretty picture. You just have to get a result. And they did that, 3-0. And that's just a, pot a potential clash with Club America in the next round, which is going to be a massive tie. Unfortunately, you're going to have to play them most likely here at Kennesaw State again instead of at the Benz. But still, you took care of business. And you looked better than you did last season across the, you know, the whole 180 minutes. And I I'm still skeptical of the 3-4-3, but PT, Barco, Joseph all played fantastic. On the whole, the team gave a really solid performance. It's hard to really put in any complaints at this point in time. Yeah. PT Martinez, I mean, what a, a match from him. And uh, two really tidy goals from him. Yeah, I mean, PT Martinez, if he can play the way that he wants to play, not the way that the fans want him to play, not the way the front office wants to play, if he can play up to the level that he expects of himself, he wants to go to Europe. He knows this is a massive year for him in terms of his development, in terms of his career. If he can play the way that he's been playing the first two matches, He's going to have a fantastic season. I mean, we're talking 15 goals, 15 assists. We're talking a top-level player in Major League Soccer who will earn himself a move over to Europe. He, he put so much pressure on himself, and us as fans, we want a lot from him, and that's why he's such a divisive player because last year he had his ups, he had his downs. Some people didn't like him. Some people do like him. If he keeps playing the way he's playing, he's going to have a fantastic 2020, and Atlanta United will be a whole lot better for it if he keeps, continues this run of form. Yeah. What was the difference tonight? Was it just uh, more quality on our side and them just uh, really kind of inferior, maybe? I mean, I think, yeah, quality's a lot, especially with the front three. The front three had a fantastic game. If, if Barco, PT, and Joseph have a fantastic game, it'll be hard for a lot of teams in Major League Soccer to beat them. Yes, you're going to have some teams that have good games, but still, those three in terms of quality, in terms of technical ability, in terms of determination, if they click and they connect, Atlanta's attack is going to be fantastic. And for Matagua, yes, they're a solid team. They just don't have the quality of Atlanta United, and I think that showed it tonight. Uh, I think we're about to be run over, so uh, I think I'm going to call it that and uh, appreciate it. Thank you for your time, I man. Mean, yeah, I mean, tonight <laughs> it was a simple fan cam. You win 3 0, you advance in the Champions League. That's the most important thing. We have Nashville at the weekend, opening of the, of the MLS season. Hopefully, we can make it the first win in terms of the opening game out of three because so far we've lost every single game. But if the team continues on the form that they had tonight, I think we'll be okay. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Kits on Scarves Up. The Atlanta United block party presented by Bullet Bourbon returns on Friday, March 6th, taking over the Summer Hill neighborhood for ATL's biggest open street celebration of all things Atlanta United. Get your tickets today. Link in the description below. A portion of event proceeds benefit soccer in the streets and the organized neighbors of Summer Hill organizations. Check out the third annual Atlanta United block party. 